Hi guys, it's Angie Bell's My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I've been saying, talking about, I wanted to make myself a birthday gift. Just a second, let me just come up a little bit. And the birthday gift that I've been wanting to make myself, my birthday's in March here, and I wanted to make myself this altered boho purse. And um, I have it right now, I'm gonna show it to you back in front, then we'll go in and look at it in detail. But I have to do it vertically right now, or what is this? <coughs> horizontally because it's really long. Um, I did alter like a tote bag. Um, when you alter a tote bag, make sure that the handles are sewed really good. So that's the one thing that I did to make sure of when I cho chose my, my bag. And it needs to be some type of fabric because you're going to be using hot glue the whole time. Okay, so I'll explain how I made this, but I just want to first just show you guys. This is the handles. Now, I haven't done the inside of the handles yet because I need to look through my, so this is the handles. I use these rosettes on the handles. Isn't that pretty? I, I gotta look through my stash and find something that's gonna hold up with all the wear and stuff. But I think that's really pretty with the handles. Because if I put, this is called a rose, this is a rose, um, they're little rosettes, okay? If I was to put this on there um, in the inside, that would just, be bad so for right now that's on the inside because that's going to be that's going to hold up for right now okay so i wanted to show you how this looks here i think this is gorgeous and we're going to go through everything close up and i'll explain how i did it okay so i'm going to bring it down now this is at the bottom of the purse and this right here at the bottom is a um skirt that i had that i got from like um a thrift store or something a long time ago, but I didn't buy it to wear it. I always bought it because I knew I'd use it um, on something like this. Isn't that cool? So that's um, that's hot glued onto the bottom. All this is hot glued, and hot glue when you're dealing with fabric on fabric is perfect. Nothing's gonna come off because uh, hot glue and fabric. That's a good glue to use if you're gonna use glue on fabric. Hot glue. You need instant adhesion, and it just glues really well with hot glue. I'm going to show you guys this chunky charm here in just a second. So let me show you the other side. And I'll show you that chunky charm. I may even take it off. Okay. I feel like I'm not close enough. Just a second, guys. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Let me see if that helped. It may not have helped at all. Oh, that totally helped. Okay. Perfect. At least for this it did. Okay, so here's the other side. Isn't this gorgeous? And I have to tell you who helped me make this as far as like materials. Olivia. Hey, Olivia. Olivia Hernandez. She's so sweet. She's always gifting me um, different um, laces and doilies and appliques. So whenever I run into some stuff she gave me for this, I'll let you guys, I'll let you know about that. This is my chunky charm, you guys, and we'll go through it closely, but look how gorgeous this chunky charm is. I made it out of those beads that we all got for a really good price at Hobby Lobby. So this is the chunky charm. I'm going to show you guys another chunky charm I made. Now, I this is a chunky charm, but I made a mammoth one. It'll just be like a little decor piece because it, the thing is just too big. But this is the chunky charm. Isn't that pretty? And we'll go over it in, um, we'll go over it. Oh, let me show you this so you can see this part of the purse. There you go. And this is the chunky charm. And it displays like that. And I'm going to show you guys how I make my chunky charms. Okay. I'm going to show you how I make my chunky charms in another video. Um, because I do some wire wrapping. I don't just use like a split ring. I wire wrap everything. And then that way you can, um, if you wire wrap everything, then you really know that it's done well and that your beads or your baubles or your charms aren't going to fall off. Okay, so, and then I also, with, with this uh, purse, I also did a, um, what did I do? I, and we'll go over it really, we'll go over it closer. I did a makeup bag kind of like a makeup bag there we go isn't that gorgeous you guys this is out of a Dollar Tree placemat and then I also did a um, a reader eyeglass case 
Isn't that pretty? So I have a whole matching set. Very boho, very gypsy. Absolutely love it. Okay, so let's go in on this so you can see a little closer. Let me see. I'll be adjusting my camera this whole time, you guys, so just bear with me. Because this purse is huge. I love a big old purse. And um, it's a big old tote bag purse. So it's a big tote, but I use it as a purse. Okay, so this is the top right here. And um, this is some uh, trim that me and Olivia, when I went and visited her in, uh, in California, um, we both got this on a big, huge spool and we split it in half. So that was pretty cool. Isn't this gorgeous? I think we spent $12 on that, on that roll and it's huge. You guys, if I have it anywhere close, I'll show it to you. I don't think I do. Do I? I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah, it's in my living room. I think anyway, so splitting it in half it was six bucks a piece. We stole that is what we basically did. Okay, this is some other trim from my stash. I have a lady called my fairy godmother, and I got that from her. And who my fairy godmother is, is a lot, about eight years ago, I was at a garage sale. And this lady um, had just passed away. It was very sad. And But she had, you guys, the mother load of vintage laces, doilies, and wedding appliques. I bought them all. I spent probably 200 bucks and I had just started doing this type of work and I'm like, I'll take it all. The lady was shocked. And so I never met this lady, but she, the stuff she had is everything I would have bought myself. So I call her my fairy godmother. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you that story really quick. Okay. So that's what this here is. Then the next layer, isn't this gorgeous? I think this I got from Olivia, from Olivia Hernandez. And I will put Olivia's, um, I will put a link to Olivia down below, a clickable link. You guys have to go visit my friend Olivia. She does this kind of work pretty exclusively. And she does gorgeous work. And I want you guys to go see her. You'll be so inspired. She does so much beautiful stuff. Okay, so I'm going to lift up that so you can see the top. And what this piece is, and we'll come down you'll see it even more. Well, the back here is just a bunch of pieces that I um, basically just... Um, what do you call it? Patched together, which is what I wanted. I wanted to look real patchy. See how this piece over here is different. This piece is different. So I patched all that together. So it looks like patchwork, which is what I want it to look like. This piece right here, Olivia Hernandez gave it to me and the piece below. And um, it's just, a, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it was off of a blouse. This was off a of blouse. And um, what was below it was off a of blouse. You'll see that in a second. Actually, let me just adjust my camera. So you can see it right now. Well, let me show you this before I adjust anything. Um, this right here, see how beautiful this is? I found this, um, this was a, on both sides. This was a skirt. And um, and I cut the skirt up and I took off all the appliques off the skirt. I had bought that like at a thrift store. So now you're seeing all the appliques. Are they gorgeous or what? I mean, where would you get some beading like this? So I probably paid a dollar for the skirt. And I have a, it's all beaded like this. So I cut all, I cut them, all the little flowers off and I still have a ton more. Okay. This is the stuff I told you that Olivia sent me right here. Isn't this gorgeous? You guys, it's ridiculous. Olivia girl. Thank you so much. And she sent me this too. She goes, I know you'll use this stuff. <laughs> and I did eventually get to it. Okay. Then this is that same trim that's on the top. Okay. And then, let me see if I can, yeah, I can, if I can kind of turn this in half. This at the bottom is like I said, a skirt. Okay. It's just a skirt at the bottom. And I just love it as a big ruffle at the bottom of the purse. And I left the edges really jagged because this is boho gypsy. So anything that's, you know, that's shabby and not finished and not done totally works in my opinion. So, um, it's very, uh, like, look, that even looks like a little ripped, which I love. I like the look of something ripped up against something like this. So beautiful. I think that, sh well, that shabby chic look, you know, but this is, like I said, is more boho vintage. Okay. Or boho, um, gypsy. All right, let's go to the other side. Just a second, guys. Sorry. I know I'm completely out of frame. But I have to turn this thing 
there's the up close. There's what the handles are. This is the, it's rosette. It's rosette trim. That's what it's called. You get this rosette trim at Hobby Lobby. Okay. Which here in Las Vegas, the Hobby Lobby's closed, so you can't go there right now. I don't know about in your area. I live in Las Vegas. We're on lockdown, basically. Kind of. Like, well, basically we are. Anything that's not anything that's not a necessity is closed. Like, the whole strip is closed. Can you please believe that? All the casinos on the strip are closed. Anything in this town that's not a necessity is closed. So, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. I hadn't left the house in three days. Because, you know, we're not supposed to. We're supposed to be, you know, basically in quarantine. But I had to leave the house today. I, I, there were some herbs I needed from my herb shop. And they're getting, they get to stay open because they're considered like herbal medicine. Plus, they have groceries there too. So, thank goodness, my herb shop is still open. So, I went there. On the way home, I know I needed to eventually get some... Um, some paper towels from Dollar and so I was going to check Dollar Tree, so I did check Dollar Tree, and they didn't have, you guys, they didn't have paper towels, no toilet paper, no tissue, no uh, napkins, they don't even have napkins, people even took all the, there was nothing, so I'll check back in a few days, I, I'm okay, with, I'm looking for paper towels, I'm okay with that for the next month, or six weeks, but if this all lasts beyond that, then I don't have any, so I figure I might as well start looking now, so that, you know, I can have a little stock. And I, like I said, I have a six week stock right now, but like they're saying this could last three months. So anyway, let me continue on with something happier. Sorry, guys. It's hard not to talk about it. I also find it interesting to hear about other people, what they're going through, because, you know, everyone has a story with this whole nightmare. Okay. So I almost don't mind people talking to it a, about it a little bit because I want to do want to hear about other states of what what's going on in their state. We're all in the house. We have no idea. I mean, we only know what the news tells us. So it's nice to hear from each other, I think. Okay. The other side. This is gorgeous. Look at that. This is that trim again. And then look at this. Isn't this beautiful, this trim? Oh, absolutely love that trim. Look how, let me try to bring it up so you guys can see it a little closer. Well, you know what? Let's just do this. Leave this here and I will zoom in because this trim is really gorgeous if I can so you guys see that trim isn't it beautiful oh absolutely love it okay did I am I still taping yeah okay so then we're gonna go to this let me come back out again it's hard to with my nails come in and out and touch the screen without messing up things. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll bring the purse up. The next thing is uh, I patchworked it again. Oh no, I didn't patchwork it. See this fabric right here? This is, um, I don't know what it was, but it had like a script on it. It was gorgeous. And I got, there were panels. So I bought a couple of those a long time ago at a thrift store and I absolutely love it. I'm going to bring it up close in just a second. I covered the whole entire purse with that strip that of that panel. And I love it. It's very like, um, very old world, very, you know, Italian-esque. I really like it. And then this is a wedding applique right here that's all black beaded. Behind it is some black lace. Again, this is the, um, those um, beaded flowers that I got. I cut off that skirt. Make sure you guys are seeing that. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this up a little bit closer so you can see parts of it. So there's that lace at the top. There's that beautiful beading. Look at that beautiful beading. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's the beading on those flowers. And there's that other beading on that flower. And then you guys at the very bottom, you guys know I have that skirt at the bottom, but you, I already showed you guys that. And then um, I have some trim right here. I'm trying to, my nails, I just started wearing nails and it, I'm trying to, you have to touch the screen to uh, zoom in and out. And so it's kind of hard with my nails. Okay, you can see a little bit better. And then this trim here at the bottom, isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay, so I'm going to take this bobble 
off of my purse here. I can show that up close. Oh my gosh. So this is the bobble that I made for my purse. And I can't go through each bead, but I'll just kind of show you generally. That's the big, huge clasp. Isn't that gorgeous? I just had that beautiful clasp in my in my stash. Now, when I did this, I did silver. I did. I think I used a chain that was about eight inches. I wanted it to be nice and long. Um, I used silver and gold findings, all mixed and bronze because it's boho and it's very boho. It's very boho. So, and gypsy. So, totally mixed metals on something that's boho or gypsy. I think the mixture of metals makes it look more boho. But look at I have these. So when I, I'll show you a few beads separately. Like I love this one. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? And then I put that little key on there. So I'll just show you a few here and there. Here's another one. I love this bead right here. Isn't it just beautiful? And there's that cross right there. See how I mix the silver and gold together? Um, here's another one. I think this bead right here is gorgeous. And then I put this dangling on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is really cool again. And then I put this dangle on here. Um, here's a black and gold one. And then that dangle, it's a cross. So, this is what the whole thing looks like. And I'll show you how I did this exactly. I'll do a video on it. And I'll show you how, I see, I'm going to show you real quick. All my pieces are wire wrapped like that, see? So there's no, cla there's no clasp. And I'm using chain, this chain right here. You can open these up really easily and then close them back. So I don't even have to, it's very easy to at least put these on here. But that's the wire wrapping right there that I'm going to show you how to do. If you don't know how to do it. And just how I created my bobble. Okay, and then I'm going to show you my other bobble that I have. Okay, you guys, check this bobble out. Oh, I'm going to remove my purse. Well, I'll just come up close. Yeah, let me remove my purse. It'll be the easiest way. And then we're going to try to zoom in on this bobble because holding it, it's going to be a lot. Okay, just a second. I'm going to put my purse down somewhere. I can't wait to use my purse. I'm so excited. I haven't switched everything over from my other purse yet because I've been waiting to film this. Okay, did I get anything closer up? Oh, is that going to, is, is that going to work? Okay. Let's see if I can get, oh. All right, now I got really close, but that's fine. Let me just bring the bobble this way. Do you see what I'm saying? How chunky this thing is? Look at this, you guys. It's fabulous. Oh my God, I love it. But see, this is how chunky it is. I cannot um, put this on a purse. So at this point now, it's just a decor piece. <laughs> what you do when I did this one, I did small, or I did um, medium small here, um, what did I do? Oh, I did medium small in the middle, uh, medium small as far as length in the middle, and the longest ones went to the top and at the bottom. Okay, and I probably covered each bit of the chain. So I'll just kind of show you. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that just beautiful? It's ridiculous. It's so heavy. Like I said, it's just going to be a little, a little decor piece in my craft room because you can't, I can't put it on my purse and go out in public. <laughs> it's so heavy and it has so much gorgeousness on it. If anything fell off here, I'd be so sad. Okay. So here's one of the long ones I made on here. Let me show you that one. Um, let me show you a different one. Here's another one. These are the long ones that are at the bottom. Look how pretty that is. And then there's a dangle. 
So I'm just showing you some of the ones on here. This black is gorgeous. I don't have a dangle on that one. Uh, this is pretty. And I do have a dangle on this one. And then this one's really pretty. This is a little, this is a, a small medium one. Small medium size. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, and then at the very bottom, just hung by itself at the very bottom, you can barely see it, you have to look through it. I put this on there. Isn't that fabulous? This, um, what is this horse called with the wings? Pegasus, which I love Pegasus. Um, oh, look at this one. I think this is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And then there's the dangle. It's a beautiful cross. Um, then I did some smaller ones. So let me show you the small ones. Like this is a small. See, that's a small. And then I did some with small beads. Um, I can show you a couple at a time, I think. Oh, this thing's heavy. Like, look at those two right there. Okay, so I think this turned out really, really pretty. I'm really super excited about it. And then I have like things like this le this feather just dangling off as its own separate thing. So I did some separate dangles too. I think this I think I did this one as a separate dangle. I can't remember. I think this one's a separate dangle. I had one dangling from a um, bead, but then I had a separate dangle. Like see Where am I at? Where am I at? There we go. See the little ring? So anyway, I think this turned out really, really pretty. Um, I think things like this would make great, great presents. Especially if you were able to take advantage of, I'm looking for my main thing. Especially if you were able to take advantage of the great clearance that they had at Hobby Lobby on those big bottles of beads that were 20 bucks and you got them for like five bucks or four, four fifty to be exact. Um, Definitely, I think making some of these for gifts would be great. It'd be great to make some of these for, um, oh, I got to show you this one, uh, to make some of these if you're going to sell them at craft fairs. These would sell really well. I don't know if I would make it as chunky as this one for a craft fair because people are going to want to put it on their purse. And they're going to feel like, I can't put that on my purse, but look at that. And then look at the dangle. You guys, it's a little clock. Aren't those cute? I used to sell metal embellishments and pieces like this. And, um... I, that was in my stash from when I used to sell them. In fact, I'm down to my last bits of those little clocks. I little watch faces. I really want to find some more of those. But I bought those like, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago. Okay, so let's look at the rest of the things. I don't know if I need to zoom back out or not. Let's look and see if I can get myself in frame. No, we're good. Finally, something that fits in here. I don't have to be so awkward. Sorry if I'm being awkward, you guys. I'm just trying my best to let you guys see things up close. Okay, so this was a placemat. Um, a Dollar Tree placemat. So you just get a Dollar Tree placemat. And let me see if I can if I can get to one easily so I can show you what to do. Just a second. I'm grabbing um, a placemat if I have one handy. See if this bag has placemats in it. I don't think this does. Just a second, guys. Okay, found one. Okay, so you take a Dollar Tree placemat like this. You can take it, uh, some fabric type of placemat. Aren't these gorgeous, you guys? I have a stockpile of these because I always felt like they were never going to make them again. And I like to make these for gifts for friends. So let me just cut this off. So what you do is you take this placemat 
and you just fold it like this. Hopefully you guys are seeing it. You fold it like that and then you just fold it like this. Oh, so fold it like that. And then you'll hot glue the sides, hot glue the sides. And then um, I would hot glue instead of sewing because this is so thick, it's gonna be hard for your needle to get through the layers of this placemat, it's thick. And then like that for your flap, see? And you have automatically have the most beautiful makeup bag or clutch. Okay, so this could be a makeup bag or it could be a beautiful clutch, either way. Um, what was I going to say? Um, in fact, I'm going to make a clutch out of this. I have a bunch of rhinestone pieces and wedding appliques. And I saw this lady do like rhinestones and wedding appliques and it was gorgeous. But it'd be something you wouldn't want to put in your handbag. It'd be something you want to use as like a clutch. So I'm going to leave this out so I remember to do that idea. But that's how you, that was the base of how I made this. Okay. So here we are. So um, these are, oh, this is the fabric. Let me open this up. This is the fabric that I used and I based, I hot glued this fabric right here onto the whole thing. Isn't this fabric gorgeous? This fabric, like I said, I got it at a thrift store and it came in like some panels. So I bought two panels. That's all they had or I would have bought more. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I cut that out, put the whole thing here. This right here is some black Velcro pieces. That's how this thing is staying together. Okay. So I wanted to show you that first. And then, um, and so I took that same, did I take that fabric there? No, I didn't. And then these right here are all wedding appliques. These are gorgeous. This is all wedding appliques and this is all wedding appliques. Aren't they gorgeous? When I was with Olivia, um, Olivia Hernandez, we, when I was in LA, it's almost been probably two years. I've seen her since then, but I think it was two years since we went to that flea market. Um, I think it's been two years. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They had black and I was like, yes, because black is very hard to find. Everybody has the white or the beige, but they had black, they had wine color, they had purple. I bought all the colors plus all the white and beiges so I can dye them. But anyway, so this is all black wedding appliques and I, I collaged them all together. So that's how I got that. This trim is gorgeous. You guys, I got a bolt on a, on a thing. It was about this big. It was like that fat. And that's how much trim I got for like five bucks. Ridiculous. You know, if you buy to buy trim like that, when you try to buy that much trim, like at Hobby Lobby, you'll pay like 30 bucks. So I knew what I was getting. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy's selling this to me for five bucks. Then this is that same fabric that's on the inside. That was that panel. And um, I made a flower out of it, which I love. And then this is a black rosette. And then this is uh, a little bead that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And, you know, for 75 cents, you got like six of them in a pack or whatever. Okay, down here, let me open this up. Now, my, I don't even know if you can see it. You can't even see it. Good. The Velcro at the top, this part right here, this thing. The glue kind of smushed out, but it's only for me, and I'm only the one seeing it. So just be careful when you glue. I, when you take your Velcro, when you glue your Velcro on, even though it's sticky, I would still glue it on with some hot glue. Be careful of how much hot glue you put on it, because it's gonna squish it out. Okay. Anyway, um, again, more wedding appliques. I got some little fabric pieces here. Um, some more um wedding appliques all here all collage together that same trim all the way around and then right here is another rosette trim right here this is all a black rosette trim a smaller one and i think i got that at hobby lobby that rosette trim this one down here at the bottom and on the sides so it goes all the way around this piece right here olivia gave me thanks girl i actually did not center this i wish i could take this and but i hot glued it in so it's not coming off I wish I could have brought it over just a little bit, but it's for me. <coughs> and when I close it, it looks centered because of what I did. When I close it, it looks pretty centered because I made sure that I centered the flower pretty good. The flower here, I centered that pretty good. So then it kind of looks like this is centered if you don't look too close. <laughs> the back is just the black placemat on the back.
There we go. Okay. So that's that. And I'm so excited to put this in my bag. I mean, look at this big old makeup bag. It's not just going to be huge in my purse, but I have a huge purse. So I need a huge makeup bag in there. And when I mean makeup bag, it carries everything. You know, my nail file, if I want any wipes, any sanitary wipes, my sanitizer, any makeup that I do want to carry with me, you know, all that little stuff that we carry, it goes in here. Okay. I don't know if I need to explain that or not, but there we go. Okay, next, just to fill the space, let's put my bobble here. Just to fill the space a little bit. Okay. So next we have my eyeglass case holder. If your glasses aren't too big, you could also probably put your sunglasses in here. I made this with a pot holder. And you know what? I can show you that too. What I did. Just a second. Okay, now this isn't the pot holder that I used. This isn't the pot holder that I use. Um, I used a beige pot holder, this right here. Oh my God, my hair just got, just a second. My hair got hooked onto some flowers I had in a vase over here and then it went in my eyes. All right, I had a little mess going right there. Okay, so I used a pot holder like this. Now I got these pot holders at Dollar Tree also and look how beautiful this is. These are gonna be, these are gonna make quick Christmas gifts. Okay, I'm just gonna take this and you just hot glue it like this, all the way around. Just hot glue from here all the way around, and now you have an eyeglass holder, right? Just take your glasses, you can slip them right in there. Now, this really works good for readers because it's about the size of readers, but some people's sunglasses aren't huge. I have oversized sunglasses, so mine wouldn't fit in here. So, but you can use this also for a sunglass holder if you if you have sunglasses that aren't too huge. So that's how I made the base. So simple. And isn't this cute to give as a gift? I know that you're splitting this in half, but it still looks cool split in half. Look at all the coffee cups and everything on here. And they just turn the other side for the other part. I think it's fabulous. Okay. So this is gorgeous. Um, this is that same. Now you can see so that everything ties together. That fabric was used in, in the base of all three, the, the purse, the makeup bag, and now my, uh, my, uh, readers or my glass, my eyeglass case, my reader case, that same fabric, that same beautiful vintagey looking fabric. And then that same trim was used. So that goes along with my purse. Also that goes along with my makeup bag. And then I used the same black wedding applique. So I just took one. And the reason I didn't put too many appliques on here, I really wanted to see this fabric because I just love it. <coughs> Those vintagey looking panel fabric. 